So I've seen these bagels on TikTok and they're supposed to be two ingredient bagels. So you just use two cups of 0% Greek yogurt, two cups of flour, and then it's optional to use everything bagel seasoning and then an egg wash. And it's supposed to create really yummy bagels. So I've seen a bunch of people do it. So I am going to try it. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door your favorite music on all the way baritone oh, yeah. shut the lights go in front Okay, I'm gonna watch the video one more time because I don't remember how many pieces I'm supposed to cut it up into. Is it gone all the way, baritone? Shut the lights, go in for So these are what the eight logs look like and I'm actually going to get the baking sheet ready and then I'll form them into little bagels. So you're just going to pinch like this to make it into a bagel. Ah, so cute. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play full and free. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna put the egg wash on here. I don't have any of those like brush type things, so I'm just gonna use a spoon. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Okay, and now you're going to take your seasoning and sprinkle some more on top. In a gown and a crown, barefoot. Okay, now you're gonna put it in an oven at 425. Let me see. For 20 minutes, broil for two. So you're gonna put it in the oven for 425 for 20 minutes and then broil it for two minutes. So I'm gonna do that now. This is what they look like before going into the oven. Okay, 
Okay, so while the bagels are cooking, I'm going to clean up the mess real quick. I'm so excited, I hope they taste good. Ah, uh, I cannot wait. No mistake ever kept me late. We spent summers catching fireflies and I'm really wanting to organize my pantry. Like I've been looking at so many Pinterest pictures of people that have like the nice clear like um bins. I think they're OXO or ones from the container store and like label makers, but they're all so expensive. I've been looking for days at tons of different stores, ones I saw on Amazon, Walmart, to see different containers for pantry organization. But I just cannot believe how expensive they all are. So for now, I'm just going to stay like that. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydream. This is one of my favorite multi-purpose sprays from Target. It's the Home and Planet. It does not disinfect. Um, it's just for like cleaning up messes like this, not for if you're wanting to do like a deep clean or anything, but just for wiping all this flour off the counter. So now I'm gonna make an iced coffee. Usually I use one of my mason jars because they're bigger, but I can't find one. So I'm gonna use this Best Dad Ever mug. What you're going to do is you're gonna fill this with ice. And then you're also going to need some original oat milk. This is my favorite. And then caramel macchiato creamer. And then this caramel sauce is optional, but it does add some yummy flavor. And then for the actual coffee, sorry if you can hear Will in the background, he's playing with his dinosaurs. I am going to use this double shot for my Nespresso. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fourth cup of the creamer and three fourths cup of the oat milk. So if you have a cup measuring cup, you can just fill this to the fourth and then fill the rest to the cup mark so that it's three fourths. I just used all my stuff though, so I'm just going to use this. So now what I'm going to do is just put this underneath, turn my Nespresso on, and then put my double shot on top. And that will seriously be it, and it is so good. It tastes like a caramel macchiato to me, and it is my favorite drink. Now you can totally leave it layered like this. I like to stir it though so you're not getting like different flavors. I want the whole thing to taste the same. And then to end it, I'm going to take some of this caramel sauce and just drizzle it on top. Ta-da! So that is the finished caramel macchiato. Typically I would put a little more caramel sauce on top because I like when there's some on the bottom. But we are almost out of this, so I need to order some more. Cheers. The secret smile, little things I remember. Plays a hand upon my heart as her. She was a believer. Sometimes I Moment of truth. Mmm. Wow. They're really good. The ins oh, the inside is a little bit of a different consistency. 
it's a little more doughy of an inside um but it is really good it has pretty much the same flavor i might have maybe added more seeds the next time i make it i was scared it would be too salty though but that's really good and the girl who made these on tiktok said it's like a hundred it's supposed to be 123 calories 24 carbs and 8 grams of protein and zero fat per each one other than the cream cheese so yeah this is the girl on tiktok who came up with it at danielle broder yummy yummy I wanna close my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture-perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you so I know usually in my videos I share with you guys what book I'm listening to because I'm like always listening to an audiobook. I am listening to The Bromance Club by Lissa K. Adams and oh my gosh it is so so good. By the way it was described I thought it was going to be more about a group of guys and I didn't think I was really going to like it but it's definitely a romance book and I love it. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a quick, this is not organized at all, grocery haul. I just wanted to share what I got in our Walmart pickup order. So this is the first time I have done a grocery pickup in I think two weeks. So we were out of pretty much everything. And I wanted to share too because I feel like I've done a few grocery hauls on my channel before, but the other ones that I did were always kind of like the same items because I would get the same stuff every week at Aldi and the same vegetables, eggs, almond milk, you know, the usual. But now I'm kind of at the point where I'm over dicing vegetables, I'm over everything, so I got a lot more frozen items, which I'm excited about. I feel like it's just gonna make my life easier. There's no rhyme or reason, I did not set it up, so we're just gonna go a little crazy. So we always need lunch meat in this house, so I just got some chicken breast. I got some pepper jack cheese sticks because I really like to have these with pretzel thins so if you guys ever get these cut them up into little squares and put like one on each pretzel thin, pretzel thin it is so good so obviously i got some pretzel thins this is my favorite creamer that we always get the caramel macchiato i hope my hand's not shaky i just carried all of this in james is outside playing with will and i'm like out of breath and a little shaky <clears throat> i got this oat milk it was actually supposed to be the original but whatever so i guess i got the vanilla one this is my favorite kind of oat milk for when i make iced coffees i got some stir fry raised cauliflower some lunch meat turkey breast just some zero percent plain greek yogurt okay i got some mashed cauliflower so this is what I meant when I said I got a lot more frozen stuff. So normally, anytime we go to the grocery store, I get tons of peppers, tons of onions, just because that's something that we put in like all of our meals. But I saw this in the frozen section, and I don't know what the difference would be. Like, hopefully they cook up and like saute and caramelize the same. But I don't know. I'm just over cutting up vegetables and stuff like that. So I got this just to be easier, and I'm hoping that I'll like this so that I can just continue getting stuff like this. Um, so this is the pepper and onion blend. I got some corn. I did get some zucchinis. We always, that is like what we put in everything, like eggs, pasta, any meal I make, we always throw in onions, peppers, and zucchini because, I don't know, I just feel like it adds so much flavor. Okay, here's another thing. So I got chopped onions. Let me know down below if you do this. Do you buy the frozen versions or the fresh versions? Is there any downfall to me buying the frozen one like are the nutrients different i don't know this just seems so much so much better to me so much easier i got some chobani flip s'mores these are our favorite i did get two green peppers just to have some fresh ones because i don't know just in case i wanted to make something with them i always every time i go grocery shopping i get these two breads i always get two and i throw one in the freezer just because we go through them so fast these are my two favorite breads William really likes these Mighty Snack Bars. 
Blueberry waffles are William's favorite, so I always get a huge thing. And then same thing with unsweetened original almond milk. This is just the milk that we drink and that William drinks because I'm lactose intolerant. And then we always run out of bananas. Tortellinis are my favorite, so I got some of these. Oranges, I love oranges. We always have to stock up on this because William loves these. They're just chicken nuggets. Um, shrimp poppers, I've actually never gotten these before, but they sounded good. Some beef and broccoli, this just sounded yummy. I also thought that maybe this with some cauliflower rice, like cooking this and this together would be really yummy. I got, I always get these jalapeno chips because I like them with um, string cheese. And then I also use them on my sandwiches. I feel like I cannot have a sandwich unless it has jalapeno chips. I've never gotten these before. I mean, I've ate these before because my mom buys them, but I've never bought them before. But I feel like this would be a really quick dinner and I feel like these would be good for William because he could just hold them and eat them. Chicken and broccoli. I needed more dishwashing gloves. Ritz crackers. I got some rice cakes, so I got caramel, and then I also got chocolate rice cakes. I usually don't buy these, but I saw someone in a YouTube video eating them, and I thought that would be a good healthy snack, so I bought some. I always get these pouches for William, just so he can get some more like veggies and fruit in, because some days all he wants to eat are cheese quesadillas and peanut butter bread, so I always get these. Got some crackers, some vinegar, because I just use this for pretty much everything. I got some apples, everything bagel seasoning, this is our favorite. Just some tortillas, ranch, we needed more mayo, some cranberry juice, because my favorite mixed drink is just cranberry vodka. Um, I like the whipped vodka with cranberry juice, so I just got this just to have it stocked up. Some more vinegar, we needed some more flour, and then I also got these. I've never tried them before, but I've heard really great things about them. And I'm a big fan of White Claws. I know some people say they don't like the flavor or they don't like them, but I feel like that's the point. They're not really supposed to taste like much. So I don't feel like I'm easily disappointed with this stuff. <laughs> like it could taste like nothing and I don't care. Um, but I did get some of these because my birthday's in three days and I don't know, I just wanted a little drinky drink. So that is everything I got from Walmart. Pretty big order, so now I'm just gonna put everything away. because I listen to it like all day when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning, when Will's napping, if I'm doing stuff on the computer, just all day long. <laughs> So we are gonna go outside and play now. I bought William. The living room is messy. However, I wanna go through William's toys again. 
out of breath do the toy rotation where I'm gonna put like a bunch of them away way too many of them are out right now and honestly it seems like for fun he's like dumping his toys out instead of like playing with them so I know a lot of you guys have always recommended toy rotation so I'm gonna put like three-fourths of his toys away and then start to rotate them out I did it a while ago but it's been a good amount of time since I did that let me put you down so we're gonna go outside. I bought William, I don't know where the box is, this splash pad off Amazon and we love it. I think it was $25, I'll have it linked below. And he loves it, so James is gonna get set up right now. And it's so cute and fun and so we're gonna go outside. I also got him a cute little swimsuit. I'll have it all linked down off of Amazon. I wanted to share my favorite sunscreen for him. I am always checking stuff on this site called like EWG.com or whatever and it tells you based off of what ingredients are in everything like how good they are for you and this one has a really good rating. It's the Aveeno Baby Zinc Oxide Sunscreen SPF 50. So yeah, I just thought I would share that because I've done so much re research on sunscreens and we love this one for William. We've been using this since this is the only sunscreen he's ever used. I love it. And let's go outside, honestly. I might have a little drinky drink. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I think I deserve it. It's so yummy. It's 1.44, and it's the weekend, right? This is what it looks like. Like I said, I'll have it linked below, but I picked out this one because it has letters and animals on it, so I thought that would be good for him. Like yesterday when we were playing with it, I would say, where's the sea? And then he would like try to splash where the sea was. But it's filling up right now, and it comes up, and it shoots up pretty high if you turn the water all the way, and then this kind of turns into a little mini pool. I mean, just like an inch of water. Are you standing on this side? <laughs> he likes to do that with his feet. It's like a little calf workout and then it makes it go up higher. Whew, sorry if I'm out of breath. I just ran to get my camera because I was about to start making some banana walnut bread and I was like, oh my gosh, I should probably film this. So I had three super, super ripe bananas. I mean, if I probably waited one or two more days, I would have had to throw them out because they were like, completely black so it is perfect time to make banana bread and I love mine with walnuts I almost don't even like banana bread if there's no walnuts in it so I'm going to show you the recipe I'm using so this is the recipe I found it's from ihearteating.com and it is just this recipe if you guys want a screenshot and oops sorry and those are the instructions. And I actually cannot find my bread pan, so I'm just gonna use like my muffin pan and make them into muffins. But I've never used this recipe before, so I'll let you guys know how I like it. Seems pretty standard though. I am not gonna do the cinnamon though. I'm not a huge cinnamon person. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in?
So I have them and I'm just gonna put them in the oven for at 350 for maybe like 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna start at 15 minutes and then keep checking on them and make sure I don't burn them, but they smell so good. Okay, so they were cooking for about 20 minutes and I obviously stuck a butter knife in them just to make sure it came out clean. Oh my gosh, they smell so, so good. I'm gonna let them cool just a little bit and then put some butter in and have one because Gosh, they, they smell so stinking good. Okay, I love tons of butter. <laughs> so I put a lot of butter, made sure it's really soft, and I'm gonna give it a try. 